will be starting this chapter okay so with this our chapter is the climate of our country basically we will talk about india and here we go with this video have a look enjoy oh what a hot day thank god we are going to shimla tomorrow it is a cold place children can you tell here who is talking about the weather and who is talking about climate the boy is talking about the weather and the girl is talk and climate let us learn about it the climate of our country class 4 social studies weather and climate when you say it is a cold day or it is a rainy day you are talking about the weather weather refers to how hot cold rainy is in the place at a particular time of a particular place it defines temperature too but when you say it is very cold in the himadri or the coastal plains are warm and humid you are talking about the climate climate refers to the weather conditions of a large area taken over a long period of time the climate of a place the climate of a place mainly depends on the number 1 how far away it is from the equator the farther away it is from the equator the colder it is expected to be the northern part of india is cooler than south india 2 how high it is the higher a place the colder it is for example the higher you go in the himalayas the cooler it becomes 3 how far it is from the sea the winds from the sea affect the climate of the place the coastal plains are neither too hot nor too cold because of the breeze from the sea the plants and animal life found in a place the food that people eat and what they wear depends on the climate of the place seasons india has three main seasons during the year summer winter and rainy the general weather conditions of a place during these seasons determine the climate of the place example the climate of assam is cloudy because it rains more than 6 months in a year summer season in south india the summer season starts in march and ends after may in north india it starts in april and goes on till june and july in summer it is hot and dry in almost all parts of india except the mountains During summers the days are longer and the nights are shorter. In North India it starts in April and goes on till June and July. Hot dry winds called lu blow in the northern plains. The coastal plains are not so hot in summers because of the cool sea breeze. The weather of the coastal plains is very humid. Moist during summers. rainy season from june onwards winds flow from the arabian sea and the bay of bengal to the land they are called monsoon winds they bring rain to india this season is called the monsoon season musindram in the khasi hills in meghalaya receives the highest rainfall in india parts of the northern plains and the southern plateau receive heavy rainfall the tar desert in rajasthan and the rin of kutch receive very little rainfall the coromandel coast receives rain in november to december the rainy season starts in june in south india the rainy season starts at the end of june or the beginning of july in north india Did you know? 
The highest rainfall ever recorded in a day is 182.5 cm, in the La Reunion Island. In the Indian Ocean The highest rainfall ever recorded in a year is 2,540 cm, in Cherrapunji, India. Winter Season The winter season starts from October onwards, it continues till February. January is the coldest month. During the winter season, the days become shorter and the nights longer. Winters are very cold in the Himalayas. Many places have snowfall. The northern plains are cold. The cold decreases as we go towards the south. The coastal plains are pleasant during winters. Recap Climate refers to the weather of a large area over a long period of time. The climate depends on the distance of a place from the equator, the height of a place, and the distance from the sea and mountains. There are three main seasons in India, summer, winter, and rainy. Summer starts in March or April and ends in May or June. The rainy season is from June to September. Winter is from October to February or March. Thank you for watching. Please like So this is it. This was the overview of the chapter which we have just understood. So I'll stop here. We'll be uh, discussing the further chapter tomorrow. Okay.